Hello guys, in additional turrets mod, thank this mod you have new turrets, like for example this rocket turret. Let's respawn a few biters to see how it works. Yes, it's working pretty nice, but it's not all. This full page is only from this mod, so yeah, that's that's a lot of different type of uh, talking with biters. So for example, there are the additional laser turrets, even better beam turrets, electric beam turrets. We have the uh, ace. ASIC tower, uh, thrower turrets, and so on. So I'm gonna test uh, all of them and see how they work. Okay, so let's start by testing the laser turrets. I'm gonna connect them with the electricity. So let's take this and... Uh, okay, this is the normal turret, so let's see how we are working. Why are you working? Wait, uh... I think they had some electricity from before. Yes, yes they did. So let's let's do it again. Let's go with this biter. Okay, I see they they don't like don't like the situation. So I gonna do this thing, and now he has to like the situation. So yes, normal turret work like a normal turret. Nothing special here. So let's remove you, and let's try this advance. So let's make another biki mod. Okay, pretty interesting. So let's try with you, another behemoth, you, you stop it. Okay, now this turret works a bit different and we don't see the bullets. Okay, I'm gonna make more biters. Okay, so this is very interesting and it's also taking out of electricity, so you have to be careful with that. So remove you and let's try, try you. Okay, so this has uh, some time of reloading, however the shooting is pretty nice and it also adds some kind of debuff on the biter, like, let's see. Yeah, like you can see, there is some XT going on and I think it's dealing damage over time, or maybe not. Okay, so let's try different turrets. So this is a very interesting weapon because it's capsule flower and it's requesting the bots and the bots are being deployed. Also, it has the laser turrets. So when you connect this to electricity, it's also doing the electric damage. So it looks like this to deploy this. <coughs> okay, uh, it has the automatic requester chest for the bots and it's using it the when needed. Okay, and now we are testing the cannon turret MK2. So let's put some explosive shells to here. And yes, it's looking pretty nice. But let's change it with the fire cluster cannon shells. Okay, this is a very interesting way to deal with the biters. You can of course use uh, different uh, cannon shells, whatever you like. So for example, small coal cannon shells. Okay, let's test them. Okay, so now we have the small coal cannon shells and let's see how they are working. Okay, they are working very, very bad. So let's change them for those. Yeah, this is this is nice way to deal with the biters. <laughs> okay, but let's try with something different. The rocket turrets you already saw how they working. This is the same, just uh, better tier. Okay, destroyer. So let's see how is destroyer working. It also a big thing, and it automatically requests the the stuff for itself. So let's respawn some biters. Let's go to the editor mode and let's respawn the biters. And let's see. Okay, I want to remove you. Okay, something is happening, but let's go again. So let's see how it's gonna work. Yes, it's it's very interesting weapon. <laughs> okay, and what are you taking? You are taking the explosive multiple rockets, and you are also requesting the cluster cannon uh, shells, and it's doing a little bit of damage. <laughs> So let's remove you and let's try something different. So flamethrower is like flamethrower, but there is the acidic uh, flamethrower. So let's try you and you need uh, one of two things. So I'm gonna use the editor mode to respawn this infinite pipe and we can use the piranha solution or use the sulfuric acid. We'll go with the piranha solution because this is something new and let's see. So we have to respawn the biters again. So let's go here, biters, and let's start. 
Okay, so it seems like it's working like the normal flamethrower. Yeah, maybe it's doing more damage, but basically works like the flamethrower. So yeah, what else uh, do we have in this mod? Artillery and heavy... Oh, this looks interesting. So we're gonna make you... Okay, the range is like this. So I'm gonna place you here. And let's feed you with the uh, bullets. Okay, so this also has this nice uh, requested chest that you don't need to worry about filling this with the bullets because everything is being done automatically. However, to deal some damage, you have to use this this marker. So let's mark some some biters right here. And let's wait. Let's see. Okay, there is the bullet. It's coming. Maybe I'll go to the editor mode because I want to survive. And let's see. Okay, something happened, but it wasn't very powerful. So let's try this on the nest. Okay, so now we are in the middle of nowhere. So let's place this marker. Okay, not that easy. Let's place you and let's disappear. And let's see how we're gonna shoot this. Hello, third. Okay, it's going. It's flying. And it explodes. Okay, it's dealing a good amount of damage. Like the whole base disappeared. Only the behemoth biters are kind of surviving, but they are burning to death. Okay, so this basically kills the whole base. So when you go do this, and okay, it has a big cooldown. But yeah, another bullet. Okay, it's coming, it's flying, and it's gone. Okay, so it's pretty interesting weapon. It also has a very huge range. So, yeah. And uh, this is all what this wants at the game. New type of the rockets, uh, shells and uh, gun turrets. Everything is up to you. Very interesting mod. I'm highly recommending you to try it. And that was all. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye.